Hi everybody, today I am very excited because I have three Bluetooth speakers from one of my favorite manufacturers, DOS. Why do I like DOS? Because the engineering is superb, they sound fantastic, and pretty inexpensive. This is the DOS Soundbox Pro Plus P300. It comes in blue, black, pink, or this lovely shade of purple. There are two things I don't like about the speaker. The first one is these buttons. How am I supposed to read these? Even if I bring them in close and angle it at the light, you can barely see what's written on them. When I see a super thick plug like this, I think it might be waterproof. And in this case, not quite. It is IPX6 water resistant. You can splash it, you can spray it, you can leave it in a rain, but do not submerge this in water. Behind this rubber plug, we have a USB-C charging port, a three and a half millimeter auxiliary input port, and a TF card slot. But that brings us to the second thing I don't like about this speaker. Look how deep this port is. Getting a TF card out of that slot requires tweezers. Not my favorite. The P300 can take up to a 256 gigabyte TF card and is compatible with MP3, WAV, or FLAC files. The Pro Plus P300 has dual 20 watt full range drivers for a total of 40 watts of power. But if that's not enough for you, you can use TWS mode, that's true wireless stereo, to wirelessly connect two identical speakers together for a total of 80 watts of power. DOS always has fantastic sound, but this has particularly big bass for a speaker of this size, probably because of this six and a half inch passive radiator in the back. The P300 only weighs two and a half pounds, and there's a 2600 milliamp hour battery inside that will charge in about three and a half hours, and you can expect about 20 hours of playback at 50% volume. However, if you're like me, you'll probably play it a little bit louder than 50%, and if you do, just know that your battery life will suffer, but you're going to have a great time. There are tiny rubber feet on the bottom of the speaker, and I think that's to isolate the vibrations between the speaker and the surface that it's sitting on. But when I had this thing cranked on a deep bass song, it was dancing across the desk. There is a subtle piece of engineering that I wanted to point out. If you have this sitting flat on a surface, it angles up toward the listener. I like that. Normally, a small speaker is easily defeated by my bass torture test, but this handles bass just fine. It's the treble that gets a little harsh at high volumes. The DOS Soundbox Pro Plus P300 sounds really good and it may be even best in class for a speaker of this size, but it's still a speaker of this size. I, I would... There, I, I have no problem recommending the speaker whatsoever, but you're, you're just not going to get the depth of a larger speaker. But don't let that discourage you from buying it. This this is a absolutely fine speaker. I love it. I would give this a five out of five stars. This is the DOS Soundbox Pro Plus P400, and it has a feature that cannot be ignored. I have never seen any other speaker with an infinity mirror. They call it a phantom mirror, but whatever you call it, it is cool. This has dual 25 watt drivers for a total of 50 watts. And to help out with the base, it's got a massive seven and a half inch passive radiator. You might see this chunky rubber plug and ask yourself, is the P400 waterproof? And the answer is no, this is IPX5 water resistant. Splash it, get it wet, but don't dunk it in water. Beneath this rubber plug, you have a USB-C charging port, three and a half millimeter auxiliary input port, and a TF card slot. Now you can use up to a 256 gigabyte TF card in this slot in the formats of MP3, WAV, or FLAC. But what I don't like is how deeply recessed this TF card slot is. You need tweezers to remove a TF card out of this slot. Now, who decided that the best color to use for labeling gray buttons is gray? Not a fan. If 50 watts isn't enough, you can buy a second P400 and wirelessly connect them in TWS mode for a total of 100 watts. The P400 weighs about four pounds. It contains a 4,500 milliamp hour battery, takes about five hours to charge, 
and will give you 20 hours of playback at 50% volume. But like every other speaker, the louder you play it, the less time your batteries will last. So don't plan on getting 20 hours of playback. I love the engineer that decided to angle the speakers up toward the listener. That is not a common feature. The P400 comes in blue, gray, pink, or white. As much as I love a passive radiator, I worry about any exposed surface that could be inadvertently damaged by an external force, especially with a P400 because this thing is so big and every speaker is exposed, plus this gorgeous infinity mirror. Just be careful with this. I do not want it to be damaged. The P400 has loud, clear sound, deep bass, and good treble. I love this thing. It's a five out of five. This is the DOS Soundbox XL Pro. If it looks like a giant hunk of metal, that's because it is. This is five and a half pounds of aluminum and love. Beneath this metal grill, we have dual 15 watt full range drivers, dual 10 watt tweeters for a total of 50 watts, and a giant passive radiator in the back. Beneath this rubber plug, you have a USB-C charging port, a TF card slot, a USB U drive slot, and a three and a half millimeter auxiliary input. Now the U drive slot can also be used as a power bank to charge your external devices. And the TF card can be up to 256 gigabyte in capacity and supports WAVE, MP3, and FLAC files. They say this is IPX5 water resistant, but I just don't like getting my speakers wet. I guess what I'm saying is don't worry about it if you get caught in a light rain, but just respect your speaker. Not too many Bluetooth speakers have tweeters, and the DOS Soundbox XL Pro has tremendous depth because of them. It sounds fantastic, except during my bass torture test. Now, I, I can't blame it. I designed the test to reveal the weaknesses of speakers. And in this case, I think the weakness is the metal case because there is a resonance frequency that I cannot ignore. <laughs> but this, it, it, it was at maximum volume. You probably won't run the same test that I do. I would not hold it against the speaker. You should definitely get the speaker. But I just, I had to, I found I found the problem, and so I have to say. Did I mention this thing weighs five and a half pounds? That is heavy. I mean, it doesn't sound heavy, but it's heavy. The DOS Soundbox XL Pro has a 4,500 milliamp hour battery. It charges in about six hours, and you can expect 16 hours of playback. I guess they have to give these estimates that 16 hours is at 50% volume, but I know you're going to play this louder than that. So adjust your expectations accordingly. The Soundbox XL Pro is available in blue or gray. Either one you choose is going to be fantastic. I love this speaker. This is a five out of five speaker. It's easy. I, I know I sound like a broken record because I love DOS speakers. I, I don't know if they've all been five out of five. I have tried, I don't know how many of these I've tried now. Maybe uh, six, maybe six DOS speakers. And I love them all in in their own unique ways. <laughs> They're just such a good value. Three DOS speakers, three five out of fives. I don't know if I've given a five out of five to every DOS speaker I've ever tried, but it also wouldn't surprise me if I had. They seem to have excellent engineering. They identify a price point. They just make the best speaker they can within that price point, And it turns out great. It's... You can't make a mistake with DOS. It's, this is just one of those incredible bargains that I just get it. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by.